What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to theme the Windows Terminal. I'll hit start, type in Terminal and open the usual Windows Terminal. Of course, if you've got used to this, it's rather useful to switch between tabs and things like that. But if we head across to settings up here by clicking the drop down, then the settings wheel on the color schemes tab over here, you'll see that you can create your own color schemes. Awesome. So how exactly do we install custom ones? Well, my favorite color scheme is the Dracula color theme, which you'll find linked down below. And in fact, there's a Dracula theme for the Windows terminal. How exactly do we install it? Well, first of all, you need to download a zip over here. Then to install it, we'll need to click the down arrow then click settings. And in the settings.json settings file for the Windows terminal, find the scheme section and paste in the content of Dracula.json. So, at the very bottom over here, you'll find open JSON file. Click this. Now inside of here, we need to find the scheme section and copy and paste the contents of Dracula.json. So opening the zip Windows Terminal Master, there's Dracula.json here with the text inside of it. Awesome. So pushing this across to the side and looking at the original settings file, we have actions, profiles, and schemes down here. Scrolling down, you can see that there's multiple schemes. These each have names inside of them to differentiate themselves. Though because these keys are sorted alphabetically, the name is far down. All we have to do is copy Dracula over here and scroll down to the end of the theme section right over here. You'll see a closing brackets. We'll paste it in here, then scroll up and we'll place a semicolon between the closing brackets from what was the last closing brackets here and the starting opening brackets for Dracula. Now, because I'm a nerdy programmer, I'll definitely want to fix the spacing in these. So that's exactly what I'll do. There we go. And here, there we go. Awesome. So making sure that we've copied and pasted it in here, we have a comma right before it after the last element and it's closed the same way as it was before. We can save this, close it, close it, Dracula.json and from the drop downs, we'll find Dracula listed here. Upon clicking it, the theme should immediately be changed and activated. Now, if I head into WSL, for example, you should see the different color scheme. Although I don't have Ubuntu installed yet. Never mind. I can't really demo it here, but hopefully the yellow looks different at least. Probably. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.